it's always about the swim, but it's not always about the water. So, um, again, stealing a line from Greg Cook, one time I remember him saying at one of the certifications, I heard him say, um, more isn't better, better is better. So I get it. Coach writes you out a workout. You need, need to bang out 2,500 meters. Um, what if we spent 10 minutes on the deck prior, and I give a lot of my athletes this wonderful shoulder mobility routine to do, and I tell them, if it took you five minutes to do before you got in the water, it took you one minute too many. You should be able to get this done in about four minutes. And what it does, it starts to open up the shoulders, open up the wrists and the forearms. And four minutes could make a substantial difference in the way you feel in the water. And going back to feeling the water, better awareness, kinesthetically feeling what the body's going through. And you said it, it are so appropriately if I can keep the body, and I'm paraphrasing what you said, if I can keep the body more hydrodynamic and keep the body paying attention to fluid dynamics, free speed, man. It go, holy crap, the wall just caught up on me. Why? Because you're moving more efficiently through the water. So I ask athletes to become more mindful of that. My first chapter in the book is all about belief, and it's probably the longest chapter because – it's about being more mindful. Um, one of the, uh, one of the um, I, I have to share this story with you because I think you'd appreciate it. One of your uh, compadres uh, from Australia, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Paul Newcomb, um, I had the privilege of um, being uh, coached under him a few years ago here, out here in the States. And we all stood on deck one day. We, you know, every coach and every uh, triathlete, we had our, you know, our big bulky garments on, you know, and he kind of looked at us and said, uh, so, you know, something like, uh, how many of you blokes have a garment on? And, you know, with all the pride in the world, you know, we got our garments <laughs> on, we're triathletes and we're coaches. He said, take those bloody things off and learn how to swim from feel. So I will write specific workouts for my athletes, send them over to the pool, do a warm up, and then I want you to do 2100s on a 20 second break strictly by feel. Trust your breath. Trust your feel. How does the body move through the water? And then just give me the final time and then we can make some rough, rough guesstimates. But you know as well as I do, open water swim, unless you're stopping for feet, feeding, Ironman, half iron. You can't look at your watch. You, can, you, have no, you have no clue unless you're trusting how you're feeling in the water, trusting your breath, listening to the rhythm, the, the connection between breath and movement, breath and movement, movement and breath, they all have to work in sync.